Yeah, that's not the issue, Roger. It's it's actually setting a particular set of hands, the, the deal source, and actually getting BBO to do it. I've um, you can. It's a very convoluted thing. I've uh, set it up in my options um, that that's one of the sources I want to use. I've then specified that in deal source at the bottom of, of the existing window, but it doesn't seem to be actually doing it. Yeah, the trouble is, is that I haven't. I've got something else. I think just play it for now, Guy. It'll, guys, this will give uh, me and Roger a chance to try and figure out what the hell's going on. Don't worry, Roger. If need be, we'll just use random hands. We we were using random hands last week and got some crackers. Yeah, I mean, in deal source, there's a there's two tabs: one for using random deals, and one for using saved deals. If you select use saved deals, you get three options. Um, I've selected one of them, which is teaching boards, and I'd already pre-selected a particular set of hands for for the teaching boards. It says it's doing it, but it, I'm not convinced that it is. point is I know what the first board is and this isn't the first board. All right, we've got it now. This should be this should have been the first board, but uh, that is the right. This is the right one. So I figured it out, Roger. Don't worry about it. Yes, I agree, Sanya. We will go through more boards if we just bid them, but some of them might be quite interesting play hands.
Okay, uh, good effort, but always doomed, I think. Um, the trick here is that two spades is only showing eight to ten um, nominally. It's not showing masses of points. And over the two spade bid, three no trumps is fair enough. But, I mean, personally, I would just overcall one heart over one diamond. I wouldn't be uh, making a takeout double uh, on West's shape. If West overcalls one heart here, you have a fairly sensible bid to some number of hearts. And actually, four hearts is fairly straightforward. I think you lose two hearts and, uh, and a spade, and that's about it. So over two spades, the fast three no trumps is okay, um, but I think it's the wrong hand to be doing that. Anybody got any comments or questions?
Okay, I think you can just claim now, Ellie. Okay, there's a couple of points on the bidding here. Um, nothing much in the play there, really. Uh, it's almost impossible for North South not to come to nine tricks here. Um, whatever the uh, whoever the declarer is. Um, but as far as the bidding's concerned, firstly, I think I would have bid three clubs with the North hand. Um, as guest them, modified guest them, weak or strong, and in the circumstances at this vulnerability, in the protective position, it pretty much has to be strong. Um, you probably wouldn't bother doing it uh, in a protective position when ops are just playing in one heart, and certainly at red against green, you're unlikely to do it. Um, with a, a five to nine hand, so it's probably 16 plus. So that immediately tells South that you're probably 16 plus with spades and clubs. Um, and South has a fairly easy three no trump bid then. But given the way it went, over two spades, three no trumps from South is a fast three no trumps. So it's denying having a, spade, a heart stop, whereas actually what South should be doing is a slow three no trumps to promise a heart stop, and jack to four is a, is a stop. Anybody else got any comments or questions? Okay, try this one. Yeah, Sanya, it was just a, a combination of the vulnerability and the fact that you're in fourth seat. Uh, it really wouldn't make sense um, at that vulnerability to start coming in with three clubs on a five to nine hand. Um, wouldn't be sensible. Plus, where have all the points gone? Um, south passed, west passed, and east is 11 to 15. Um, if you're, if north is five to nine, then there's a whole load of points missing in the hand.
Okay, I think we'll not play this one. Um, just claim about 11 or 12 tricks, would you, Esther? There's some important points on the bidding here. Um, I don't want to lose those. Okay, a couple of uh, critical things here. Doubling and then bidding shows a monster hand. Doubling and then Q-bidding their suit is showing an absolutely mega hand. So this, when, when West bids two hearts here, this is saying this is absolutely enormous. Um, and the implication is that the two club bid from East has really uh, helped their hand. Um, two no trumps from East as Levensol is fair enough. And I know that the two no trump bid is a demand that, that West bids three clubs. But really what, what West should be thinking is here is, is that actually West can refuse to do to bid three clubs out of strength, not out of weakness. West can't afford for East to just pass three clubs. He has to make a try for something better. And he doesn't have to do anything particularly major. All he would have to do is to bid three diamonds here instead of three clubs. And that says, listen, I can't afford to play this hand in, in three clubs. I'm too good. Okay, so the three diamond bid is, is forcing. It's not showing necessarily long diamonds. Um, and uh, now, given the two heart bid, East might bid three no trumps over three diamonds. Because now, East has got the message that, that West has an absolute monster of a hand. And three no trumps is okay, probably, as long as they don't need spades. Uh, but five clubs looks probably the best place to play this. That's absolutely cast iron. But, uh, so the key, the key is for East to take on board the fact that two hearts is, is almost game forcing. <coughs> and um, even if you don't treat it as game forcing, if East bids two no trumps Levensol, West can show a monster hand again by not simply completing three clubs, by bidding something else. I mean, almost anything else. If you bid three clubs, it's okay for East to pass it. If you bid something else, it's saying, um, you know, I've got a major hand with really good support for clubs, and we can't afford to play this in three clubs. I'm too good. Okay, any questions, comments? No, I mean, the thing is, um, Ellie, that, that two no trumps is a request for West to bid three clubs. But out of strength, and it is only out of strength, West can refuse to bid three clubs. In which case, they have to bid something else. And that carries the message that they are really strong and, and that they're too good to play this hand in three clubs, whatever East has. Tanya, essentially, yes, they can. But again, only out of strength, not out of weakness. You can't, you can't refuse to bid three clubs because you don't have good clubs. And you don't want partner to pass three clubs. If, if that's the case, then you shouldn't have been doubling in the first place.
here, West is doubling because they're too good for a simple overcall of two clubs. And when they double and partner bids clubs, now they're too good for anything. So the Q bid of two hearts is pretty much the only way to go. And okay, East has got nothing. It's got a flat balance four count. Um, but I mean, West has probably got, you know, a shot at at, uh, at five clubs. Um, you know, on on a lot of hands where East only has a couple of points. So yes, you can refuse to complete the two club, the two no trump, three club relay, but only through strength. And it's only really in a situation like this, um, you couldn't really do it. For example, <coughs> if uh, somebody opens one no trump, we get a, a two level overcall and partner bids two no trumps. You can't now refuse to bid three clubs because you've you've bid your hand with one no trump. So you can't suddenly come up with a 22 count. Okay, there's a, you see, a significant difference here. I think two clubs is just an overcall, Ellie. Okay, again, we'll not bother to play this one out. Just claim your 10 tricks and uh, we'll move on. Um, I've got a couple of things to say on the bidding, but it's not worth playing the hand out. Okay, what is two spades, anybody here? What's two spades from East? What kind of bid? Well, it doesn't have to be weak, but the point is it's competitive. Because over two clubs, we're in an 11-sole situation. We're in a natural competitive auction, and the bidding's reached the two level. So two spades is just competitive. It's quite okay for West to pass it. So S there isn't showing a huge number of points here with two spades. Given that, I think over two spades, I think the best sequence here is a slow three spades from west. So two no trumps, three clubs, three spades to find out which sort of end of the competitive range Esther is. And I, I mean, the point is, I don't think that that West really has the shape um, to just jump to four spades. Okay, they've got the spade support, and they are nearly a maximum. 
um, for their one diamond opener. But uh, um, I'd perhaps like to see a little bit more in the way of shape here, i.e. maybe a singleton heart or, a, or the stiff ace of clubs, say. Um, now I would perhaps bid four spades. But given that uh, West has a sort of semi-balanced dish, 14 count, I think a slow three spades is probably better because East might have six spades and a bloody seven count. And you don't necessarily want to be in four spades uh, in those circumstances. So I think it's worth giving East the option of passing three spades or bidding four. And with a ten count, I think they'd bid four. Anybody else got any observations or comments or questions? Would anybody else like to sit and play some hands? Um, just shout up um, if you do. Yeah, that's right, Michael. That's the other thing. I, I mean, give yourself Queen Jack X of hearts and a stiff ace of clubs or the stiff jack of hearts and ace queen x in clubs and the hand's a lot more attractive. Yes, Daniel, it does take a bit of time to get your head around this competitive leaven sold thing. Um, there, are, there are implications and nuances all over the place. Um, you know, once you, once you realize and, and have on board that you're playing competitive leaven sold, east two spade bid is perfectly bang on. You know, she's got a 10 count, it's worth competing. Um, but at this vulnerability, partner might be 11 to 12 balanced, so he doesn't have to bid anything, even with, uh, even with some spade support. But it, it does help you to get to these, to these games. Okay, we don't appear to have any more takers for playing at the moment, so we'll just carry Carry on. Please don't be afraid, guys, to get your feet wet and, and sit and play. That's the way that you really cement this stuff in your head. <coughs> it's all very well watching, but actually having to try and make the decisions yourself helps to get it clear in your head. Go on, Sanya, get in there. Yeah, well, the key's in the uh, the title of the uh, the session, Sanya. It's about competitive competitive bidding. If you don't compete, there's no competition.
Well pushed, Michael. Okay, it's actually potentially quite an interesting play hand this, because North can make uh, life quite difficult after the, the initial rough. Um, if North holds up the Ace of Spades, uh, actually, what West has to do is to take, take at least one discard on clubs before they start in on the spades and then they can afford to rough one more diamond and then start on the spades. But uh, you should always be making 12 tricks. Okay, uh, I'm not entirely certain that, that East-West were on the same wavelength all the way through this auction. And, and there's a couple of quite important points on the bidding here. We had one spade opening, one no trump, forcing no trump and then a two diamond overcall. And yes, two no trumps is potential 11 sol. Um, and, uh, but normally what East would do is to pass over two diamonds and wait and see what West is gonna do. Because the least thing that, that West is gonna do is to bid two spades. And now he can come in with a slow three spades to invite, or just bid four spades, or whatever. Um, if he's passed over two diamonds, probably West would bid two hearts as Gamma, because they've got a really nice hand once North overcalls in diamonds. West's hand goes up through the roof in value. Um, and so probably that would be the best way for this auction to go. But as it was, we had a slow three spades, and now West Cubid Diamonds. And given that, I, I'm not sure I would have bid four spades as East. I think I'd be Cubiding my hearts at the four level, rather than waiting for West to push again with five clubs and only now coming out with a five heart bid. You see my point, Esther? Okay, but well done. It's, uh, it's a good slam to get to this. In the circumstances, Barry, no, I don't think it is. Um, like I said, that's why really I think he should be passing over two diamonds to give West the chance to bid their hand totally, uh, almost inevitably. The trouble is if he bids two no trumps, all the business of, of the relay in a new suit being Gamma is lost and it's impossible for West to use Gamma if that's what they were intending. I guess what I'm saying is that is that the uh, the situation shouldn't arise really Oh Michael's flying tonight
I think just claim minus one, Sanya. I don't think you've you've any way of making this. You're going to lose two clubs and a spade. Okay, um, I can sympathise with, with West's for, for no trumps, but um, I'm not sure that, that actually that's necessarily wise. I think it's enough for West to bid two no trumps over one no trump, which shows both miners if you're playing Brozel. Um, uh, East is going to show a preference between the miners, and now you can push. And I think, I think that's enough. In practice, East West can't make five clubs, um, and uh, five spades is going off. But yes, it pushes it pushes north south past their comfort level. But you know, you you don't know that you can make five five of either minor. But you may also be able to prevent north south from making much either. So I think four one well, no trump four no trumps is a bit of a a leap in the dark. Really, um, you're risking both sides getting too high. Anybody else want to say anything or ask a question or anything? Anybody else want to play? A few hands, please. Come on, guys. It's not fair to expect this lot to do all the work. Well, there's no point standing if nobody else is going to sit, Sanya. Okay, somebody let Barry in, please. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, uh, Charlene and Barry. If anybody else wants to sit, just shout up and we'll make a space for you. Okay, we'll play with these for now.
Okay, so this from, from West is showing diamonds. They couldn't bid diamonds the first time round because it would have been Michael's. So this is actually showing a diamond suit with three diamonds. Pass by who, Charling? Pass is showing that you don't want to complete anymore. Yeah, the problem is three spades is not forcing, and you need to be forcing here. I think there's an obvious cubid to make here. Absolutely right. Okay, I think five spades is reasonable. I have to say, I think I would have bid five hearts over five clubs with North Hand. I think they, they actually have to show that they're really serious about potentially wanting to be in a slam here. Um, I, I think five spades is just saying, I really want to play this in spades, but it's not really suggesting that South bid six. I think all the pushing has to come from north here. They've got the diamond void. They've got the club control. Um, and at the end of the day, south must have something here for their opening. You know, in practice, it's difficult to see how South can do more than they have done. They've supported spades. They've shed, you know, with four spades that they don't have any immediate interest in a slam. So the chances are that they started off as 11 to 12 balanced. So it's unreasonable for North to expect South to do, to bid six spades over five spades. But I think if North bids five hearts over five clubs, now I think South knows that, that North is really serious about potentially going to a slam, and five hearts is exactly what South wants to hear, because that's where they don't have anything. Okay, anybody got any comments or questions? Yeah, just claim this, please. Just claim 12 tricks. Everything's very, very kind for the Clara here.
yes, I would discount the Queen of Diamonds because that's it's almost certain that, that North's four diamond bid is going to be a singleton or a void, probably a void. Um, so the Queen of Diamonds isn't likely to to be of much worth. The thing about Phil Max is that, although it's mentioned there on the notes, in practice I don't know of any um, uh, regular OCP pair that actually use it. I certainly don't. You've no room to do it here, really, um, Eliana. And you're not in the, the sort of auction where you can really start asking questions.
Charlene, I think just just claim your twelve tricks. Um, there's nothing really in the play here. Okay, well done. Um, this is a tough hand, and and the bottom line is that preempts are designed to make life awkward um, for ops, and and that's exactly what's happened here. Uh, it's it's a tough slam to get to to six clubs or six diamonds. Um, whether West preempts and whether East bids their spades or not, um, but once West opens with three hearts, it's really tough for North South to find this slam. Um, I think if. Charlene had taken a, a rosy view of the hand and bid five clubs over the double. Now South might have bid six. Um, but uh, it's not easy for, for North to bid five clubs. I don't think it takes a fair amount of, of prescience here because the chance of partner having some wasted values in spades is quite high. I guess the only other thing that South could do is to bid four hearts over four clubs en route to five clubs and now um, North might figure uh, no losers in clubs so the fit there is perfect and um, sorry no losers in hearts uh, no wasted values either so now North's points in the minors are working overtime, um, but uh, it's a tough hand. Anybody else want to say anything? Please don't be afraid to shout up or put your, your oar in. Oops. You should have been reading the forum, Eliana. Somebody asked a question about this exact sequence uh, earlier today. Thing is here, you're not in a natural competitive sequence, not yet. Two no trumps over two spades is a, is a balance positive with a spade stop.
No problem. Yeah, Charlene, if, uh, if East West are playing Crow Panama, then two spades is either weak with spades or it's the other three suits. So it's either spades or not spades, if that's what East West are playing. So, given South's pass, two no trumps here is not Levensol. Uh, again, we're not in a, a natural sequence here. Two no trumps is, is strong balanced, um, probably with 19 to 21 at least. Well, Eliana, this is like a two-no trump opener, essentially. Um, imagine you were playing two over one and partner open two-no trumps. That's essentially what's happened here. So here we've got four-way transfers and puppet stamen. Okay, in the circumstances, Charlene, uh, I would suggest that four clubs is likely to be a second suit rather than a cupid for hearts because all Eliana could do was to pass over two spades. So she's definitely going to be in the 0 to 7 bracket. So it's unlikely, even opposite a strong balanced hand, that she's going to be coming in with a cupid of clubs here. So the chances are that this is a second suit. So now you can just give preference.
Okay, let's play this one out just for a change. Was there really any rush to rough spades in the south hand? Well, the point is you can rough you can rough the spades any time. It's actually quite nice to retain control of the spades. Okay, good effort, uh, Charlene. Uh, in practice, I think you're always one off here. Um, <laughs> the interesting thing about this hand is that actually it's East West hand. Uh, they can make four spades, but uh, you can't make four hearts. But four hearts is a good sacrifice. Even five hearts doubled is a good sacrifice against four spades. No, four hearts, one off, not doubled is a great result. If you look at the hand, east-west are going to lose uh, no hearts, two spades, and one club. That's all they're going to lose. Any comments or questions? Anybody else want to sit and play a few hands? You just have to bid it, Michael. <laughs> I have to say, actually, I mean, I think with the east hand, even at this vulnerability against a precision club, I'd be bidding three spades, if not four spades. Um, you know, when you're going to preempt against a precision one club opening, preempt, make it count.
And okay, the vulnerability is not best ever for that. But I think certainly two spades um, is a little bit weak by East. I think uh, if East bids three spades, then West might compete a bit more. I have to say, I mean, it took me about 20 minutes to construct this hand. Um, just because you've got the balance of the points doesn't necessarily mean it's your hand. You can, you can just never tell sometimes.
What's the matter, Ellie? Where's she gone? All right, I'll play this hand then. So oh, fairly straightforward play hand. Um, I thought you'd gone off at a half, Ellie. Sorry. Oh, I think this is this is a good sequence. Three spades, totally preemptive over the double. Um, not. Uh, necessarily um, looking to make three spades but uh, in practice as you can see it's fairly straightforward um, but totally preemptive and treated as that by Sal so well done Yeah, I, I don't like to be tied down to points here, Sonia. It doesn't have to be 8+. plus. You just have to look at uh, how good your hand is um, for the negative double, really. Not necessarily in terms of points, but playing strength. On that hand, um, West has an absolutely perfect uh, negative double over one spade. 
um, you know, negative doubles essentially for takeout, um, and, and it's perfect. So even if you take away one of West's kings, I think it's perfectly acceptable. Normally, if, if um, over something like you know one diamond, one heart double, um, yes, you could be six to eight. Um, you don't have to be eight plus. Uh, normally, if you're forcing your partner to bid at the two level, then you probably will be a little bit stronger. But you could have, you know, um, you could have fewer points and perfect distribution like here. Are you still there, Ellie? Two hearts here is Michael showing spades and diamonds, either weak or strong.
Sorry, what doesn't deny heart support, Charlene? I don't think you can do all of that, um, Eliana, not all at once. The system's good, but it's not that good. Uh, a qubit here is gamma, Charlene. So if, if Eliana bid two spades over two hearts, given that East is showing spades and diamonds, two spades would be gamma in heart. Three hearts is just preemptive. But it's preemptive rather than competitive, a slow three hearts would be competitive only. Yeah, there's actually a whole different um, defense to two-suited overcalls, which we haven't come to yet, so I'm not including it in what I'm saying at the moment. We do get to it. I think it's next week, actually. I don't think there's much in the play, actually, with this one. I think this is inevitably going to slide two off, but probably not more than that. Well, no, Tanya, in practice, I, I'm saying what the bid would mean. I'm not saying you'd ever do it. Um, there isn't really a, defi a, a defined meaning for a, a bit of two spades by a past hand, as here. But uh, the only one there is, is that the qubit of their suit, um, when partners opened a major and they've overcalled, the cu immediate qubit of their suit is gamma. Because you've lost the forcing no trump bid. OK, so this is quite a good result for East West. I think actually if uh, North South get the clubs right, they can actually make um, 11 tricks in hearts. Uh, not going to lose any diamonds, they're just going to lose one in each major. But they've got to drop the queen of clubs rather than taking the club finesse. So half the time they're going to go off. There'll be plenty of people going off in five hearts. Um, but uh, So probably a par result here. Well done. I think the best the best that South can do here over two hearts is just to do what they've done, which is to bid three hearts, um, which is mainly preemptive. But it, a preemptive bid here of three hearts is probably more encouraging than a merely competitive bid of three hearts. Um, you know, South's got the shape. They've got the spade singleton. 
they've got some length in diamonds, which makes it more likely that north might be short in diamonds. Um, and at the end of the day, they've got a, a nice nine count there. Um, it's not unreasonable to bid three hearts. And uh, given north shape, I think it's not unreasonable for them to bid four. Any questions or comments? I think you're wanting your uh, cake and eating it here, Barry. A while back, you I seem to remember you made a brosal bid. <laughs> or was that somebody else? Normally, if you're playing brosal, the double is just showing a single suitor. Yeah, to some extent, this is anticipating next week's lesson. Yeah, Charlene, I mean, the thing is, is that the, the FD cards assume that you're playing the published OCP system. Um, if you're not, then really you have to not use the FD card. You can't do much else because you don't know that anything else is going to be better. It's South that has to do something here. Okay, just lead and claim, um, I don't know, claim uh, seven tricks. Okay, this double was alerted as penalties manually by Barry. That being the case, and given that it's a 13 to 15 one no trump, and the fact that South has a four count with a six card major, they've just got to bid their major at the two level. That's a rescue. 
South can't afford, South is weak enough that it's very possible that even if East is not quite as strong as they are, that West is going to pass this double out for penalties, even if it was a Brosel double. Yeah, but you can't afford you can't afford to uh, to be passing it. You're weak enough that East West almost certainly will realise that they've got the balance of the points and pass the battle up for penalties, even if it wasn't intended as a, a penalty double. So South just has to bid two hearts over the double. And that's not a transfer, it's just a rescue. It's saying, I've got at least five hearts and we're going to be safer here than we are in one no trump double. Yeah, how many down doesn't really make the point. The fact is, two hearts is probably making, one no trump definitely isn't. Yeah, all I was trying to say, Roger, is that if you're not playing the published system, then you really shouldn't have an SD card loaded because it's going to be doing all sorts of things that aren't, um, that are going to be alerted wrong. No, once the double comes in, um, we have a different method, which is something called intro, which I'll be explaining next week. But uh, you can't afford, once they double, if you're going to bid as South here, you can't afford to be playing transfers because you might need to escape into clubs. So you have no statement, no transfers. It's all about getting out of one no Trump doubles. You're on absolute hiding to nothing ever playing in one no Trump doubles. If it's going to make, you're not in a game. And if you don't make, then you're, you're going to be um, losing lots of points. Okay, Barry, I, I take your point. I, I just have to go with how it is for most people. Most people are playing on a, on a computer of some sort. And uh, so they will see the alerts. I think even on tablet, you'll see the alerts. So intro next week. Um, and uh, we'll come back to this kind of a hand then. I think I need a, a translator for uh, Roger's comment there. Anybody like to interpret? Just kidding. Okay, one more, and then we'll uh, we'll stop for the night. The trouble is, Roger, I've lived up amongst this lot so long that I can't even understand English these days. You have to speak Scottish at me. Uh, I don't think any, anything's going to solve uh, Barry's problem. Are you actually on a phone, uh, Barry, or is it an Android tablet? Uh, 
Oh, that's interesting. I thought um, I thought the tablet you probably would get. Um, thought you probably would get the alerts, but maybe not. Yeah, I mean, I've very I've used uh, the iOS um, BBO client on my iPad, uh, but I seem to remember I got alerts then, but maybe not. It's a while since I did it. Okay, so please click on the alert button if your bid needs an alert, even if you think FD is going to do it, and then they'll see it. So three clubs there should be alerted. Th these eleven soul sequences, two no trump, three club sequences, absolutely have to be alerted. Okay, so here we have an invitational bid in spades, the slow three spades, because R suits higher ranking than the clubs. Mm, some interesting points here. Um, okay, just uh, just claim twelve tricks, uh, Eliana, and we'll discuss the hand of it. Okay, the problem here, I think, is everything was fine and perfect up to the four heart bid. I think what South has to appreciate is that once once North makes the slow three spade bid, the invitational bid in spades, it's not really worth giving them an alternative in hearts because they're obviously quite happy to play in spades. So if South's going to make a forward going move over three spades, it needs to be four clubs here as a cue bid. The problem is 
if North is thinking it's four hearts a cubit, if so, um, South hasn't got control of clubs or diamonds. And that means we're missing two aces. So they're not just going to bid four spades and the bidding's going to fizzle out there. Whereas if you bid four clubs, now North can bid four diamonds, they can bid four hearts. You know, they, they've got more room to actually appreciate them because you haven't missed out any any potential cubits because you're bidding the next suit up over three spades, it's more encouraging, okay? And the other thing South needs to appreciate is actually cubiting clubs is probably the single most important thing that they can do because they've got the singleton, the chances are that partner's going to be sat there with a couple, two or three clubs, and the most encouraging thing that, that South can do is to tell North that they have control of the clubs. It doesn't matter. Look up Italian-style cubits, Ellie, on, on the web. Look up Italian-style cubiting. And, and, I mean, that's the style that I tend to suggest that you use. And uh, below game level, you can freely cubit first and second round controls. And it, it really works. Um, if you look at some of the, some of the cubiting sequences that the Italian blue team used to use back in the 70s, um, they're an absolute work of art. And the nuances you get um, are tremendous. Yeah, I mean, if you, just on a thing about that, if you've never read it, one book that you really ought to um, to read, especially if you're uh, learning super precision, is Bridge with the Blue Team. Absolutely brilliant book by Pietro Forque and uh, um, uh, some of their best hands. There's some absolutely tremendous hands in that. If you can get your hands on a copy, just read it. Uh, it's an absolutely fantastic book. Um, there's some mind-boggling sequences in that. Not all superposition, some of it's Blue Club. But uh, the, uh, um, the expertise is just awesome. OK, guys, it's uh, midnight here. Um, so I think uh, we'll call it a night there. Well, the more you practice this, this, it, it, you're not going to learn competitive Levensol overnight. But uh, hopefully last night and